right, welcome to the week seven Montana Volleyball Press Conference. Head coach <laughs> Allison Lawrence joining us. Grizzlies are coming off a, a pretty dominant 3 0 sweep over the rival Bobcats. Offense has now hit over 300 in back to back matches and really finding a rhythm behind Paige Clark, Offense Player of the Week. So a lot of good things going right now. What kind of has been the key to this stretch? Um, I think just mentality. I can't say enough about how well our team um, performs in in the rivalry match um, and in that type of environment. Um, but they're, they choose to put their focus in in a productive place um, together. So it's been, it's been very, um, it's been very fun. <laughs> I'll say that. Allison, just kind of big picture. I mean, mm -hmm. you set an attendance record. You're beating Montana State for the fourth straight time. Like, what does kind of that match kind of s just kind of say of where you're at as a program right now? Um, yeah, I think I think the way I'd answer that is just that we are staying true to to our goals and our course um, and. I think our relationship building and our our ability to connect like why we do what we do with what we're doing um is is also like building a fan base that keeps growing too so i think our team um is kind of doing things the right way and evolving and growing in ways that are um like amazing and inspiring and all those things but i think they're connecting with people along the way as they go and they want to build something that lasts and i think they've trusted that process that it's not perfect and it's not linear and it's not quick and i think um, some of the reward that they get for that in these big moments is very much deserved um but um but yeah i think part of the process that we're on and yeah i just admire them for how they're doing it as a coach, what's the, the challenge trying not to have kind of the, the letdown after, you know, such a big game and experience? Yeah, I think enjoying it, but then also putting it in perspective of it is just one moment. And um, as much as we like to, when the rivalry win, you know, when that match goes our way, we like to just, it feels like it's worth 10 wins. You know, it feels like that level of um, celebration, but we have to move on from it and we have to take good things. And I think wins can mask deficiencies sometimes are breakdowns and so we have to look at that match in both great things and then things areas we struggled or things that were exposed and there's definitely both those things happening and so we have to take what we can um, to make us stronger and more resilient for this week and like we talked about last week just the growth of volleyball in mm -hmm. montana i mean yeah. regardless of the result what did you think of just that display to, to sort of help the sport continue to grow around the state yeah i think so i think there's so much um enthusiasm for the level that's being played the players that are playing the stories that go into that um, and the growth of the game and I think you know that match gets better the quality of volleyball in that match gets better and better every time we play it and I think that's such a testament um, to both programs and to really like the volleyball culture in our state so I think that will only continue to grow and um, a huge testament to the athletes that are making that happen on both sides of the rivalry. Uh, Paige had a heck of a performance, Offensive yep. Player of the Week accolades, uh, you know, no stranger to <laughs> good games from her. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, what do you see from her in front of, you know, such a large crowd? Yeah, yeah, I think Paige has a personality that as a fan you can see this part of her too, but knowing her well, you know, she thrives in that environment. She's She's been, since the first time we recruited her, she's been that person that when um, when the stakes are at their highest, she wants the ball. And she also exudes an amount of joy that you can't help but be swept up in as she plays. I mean, you, she's just someone you watch her play and wow, I wanna play with that person. It's fun, it's exciting, um, and she goes for it. And so I think that, that piece always continues to show up and it really comes through in, in those big moments. We've seen attendance records in soccer, now we're seeing it in volleyball, mm -hmm. you know, what's it mean to, uh, to your players to play in front of those kind of crowds? Yeah, it's big time. Um, I think it's the effort of so many people, but I think for them it's, uh, yeah, it's hard to put into words. I think there's just a lot of momentum around uh, women's sports here um, in Missoula and at UM, and um, I think people are noticing that they're, they're worth paying attention to um, and worth investing in, not only in like, I don't know, in other arenas monetarily, but I think also just with eyeballs and attention and there's really big things going on and I think it's fun that people are paying attention. They should be. 
Allison, that game on Friday, uh, just your team's resilience in that second set. I think you guys are down about six points and rally back, and then that third set just kind of blew them out of the water. Just what did you like about seeing your team kind of battle some adversity and then close it out so strongly? Yeah, one piece I really loved was that um, Sarah Ashley, one of our seniors um, from Montana, was to me a big spark in that turnaround. Um, she, I think, ran four or five points with her serve that sort of evened it up um, in the second set and allowed us to kind of get in position to win it. And so um, that's what you need in matches like that. Whether you're down or up, you need leadership and you need playmakers to, to make that happen. Um, so it's cool for her to be the one to do it. She definitely has the serve to be able to do it. But that was a big part of that story um, that I think can get lost a little bit in the stats or in whatever. But I love that. I, would, I just That's a big highlight to me. So she deserves big time praise for that piece. The familiarity with these teams in conference, just how much does that help as you get ready for Northern Arizona and Northern Colorado? Yes, I think we're all watching each other's matches every week. And um, I think the familiarity of people's systems, I think, you know, we we know we prepare similar ways for similar for the same team each year in, in some ways, um, if that makes sense. But but yeah, I think we know each other really well, but there's I think as you turn the page to that next match, there's always new things that you're learning. So I feel like we're going into some knowns, but then some big unknowns with people's roster this year. And just everyone is, I think, equally strong this year. So it's exciting and, and both stressful, both stressful and exciting. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask you about Lexi Batesel. Uh, yeah. I saw a video, I mean, I saw a video of like you guys talk, like the, the highlights from the game and I saw her in the huddle. Um, it was just interesting being the new libero, following up in Serena Moreno's kind of footsteps, how has she been um, a leader for this team and how has she kind of um, fit into this lineup so far this year? Yeah, she's been great. Um, and I think she's grown each match. Um, and I think she had a really great match against MSU. Um, those glimpses of her in the huddle, I think are just one glimpse of one person talking, I think, which was a great display of what she said um, in that moment. But I think I just really value how our team talks to each other and that happened to be Lexi talking, but I think how they instill and motivate um, and instill confidence in each other is a big part of why we're resilient in, in tight moments. And so she's definitely a leader and I think her words matter in those moments because she, of how she's executing her role. And if you're doing your job well, then what you say matters. Um, and so I think she really nailed those two things this weekend. Um, and also momentum going into Northern Colorado, the reigning Big Sky champions, I guess. How are you feeling about this matchup and what are you kind of looking forward to um, problem solving against this team? Yeah, I, um, they've their middle presence is really uh, dominant and difficult to a diff difficult obstacle to overcome. Um, I think they have one of the best setters in the conference um, in Sid and how she she's a definitely an offensive threat, but just really um, runs a fast tempo and is very dynamic and kind of set anyone at any time. And so um, I think defensively, we are really going to have to show up and, and hit details in ways that their offense is manageable. And then as our offense has showed up the last two matches, it has to once again. Thanks, Coach. Sweet. Thank you, guys.